Kitty Cats, what's up? Grant Lofthouse here. Um, so look, today I've got four strategies for you to lose weight without cardio. Quick story how it came about. Basically, Women's Health and Fitness Magazine editor came down to my gym to train and to meet me and to talk because you know I've been writing for him for about eight to twelve months now, um, and you know want to meet in person. So she came down, showed around my gym, which took about ten minutes, but I still you know wanted to talk to her you know, and I wanted to send her off after coming here. So um, she asked how the whole cardio thing came about. Basically, um, told her about the story about my knee. Um, I'm not going to go into that. Basically, just yeah, did my knee, so I had to find alternative methods. Um, and and yeah, so she was obviously obviously intrigued as well. Is how we lose weight and, and lose fat and all that sort of stuff without cardio. So um, here's sort of four strategies I told her right off the bat. First thing was the exercise selection. Now I used to be in that bodybuilding mentality, isolation exercises, um, and and I switched over to to big barbell exercises, bench, squat, deadlift, shoulder press, bent over row, um, all that sort of stuff, and just that helped tremendously because you know as we know in order to lose fat we need to have a greater calorie burning expenditure than what we eat so obviously diet and whatnot comes into it but there is certain things you can manipulate with your training to also create a better and a greater calorie expenditure switching to barbell exercises did that for me um, if you think about it you can if you can bench press 100 kilos and then you can only fly um, uh, 25 dumbbell in each hand, that's only 50 kilos. That's half of potentially what you can do. Um, so again, I switched to big barbell exercises and that gave me better, a better uh, calorie expenditure and therefore there was that fat burning effect in there. The second thing I did was I just dropped my rep ranges. Um, I don't want to really get into it too much, but I've done. I've, I've talked a heap about this. But again, in that bodybuilding mentality, three sets of ten, four sets of eight to twelve, um, that sort of rep range stuff is dead now. Look, basically, um, I dropped all my rep ranges down to six, between four to eight, and I found six to be the the best for most people. Even with my clients, I found that most clients, unfortunately, they're not that strong. So, if I give them a rep range of eight to twelve. The, obviously, the weight has to go up. Therefore, um, it, I just, it, just, it might feel like you're doing more. You might get that muscle burn. But in reality, it's not doing much for you. Most clients and myself and you will get much more greater benefit from doing around the four to eight rep range, mainly six. Six seems to be that money number. So dropping my reps down to six means the weight had to go up. Again, I got a greater calorie expenditure through that. The third thing I did was I just added, I manipulated my rep speed. Again, that old bodybuilding mentality was, for example, a bench press is a slow eccentric and then a slow concentric. Um, I just, not all of my exercise, because I don't believe in, you know, doing everything fast because it sometimes it creates momentum and you cheat the exercise. But just, I added just some exercise into my training that were known for, for doing fast. So for example, I did a push press, um, a hang clean, and high pulls. So if you just look them up, you, that you'll see that they performed fast. Now just a study came out that just basically it, it said that you know fast reps switch on your fast twitch muscle fibers a little bit better and therefore you're going to get a greater calorie expenditure. So there's another way of just, just getting or burning more calories within your training program. The last thing I did, um, and this really sort of made a dramatic effect with me was I just cut my rest periods. Again, the bodybuilding mentality, two to three minutes per set. Look, sometimes my, my session used to last some between an hour and a half to two hours. I don't have that time anymore to train. Um, business, both online and offline, is growing every day. And as much as I love to train, unfortunately, I can't dedicate two hours a day. And if you look into the hormonal stuff, you know, it shows that after 45 minutes of training anyways, you're probably not doing much. So... Dropping your rest down to about 90 seconds and pairing two exercises together and doing supersets um, allows you to get more work done in the same amount of time. Um, but again, keeping those the rest down low keeps your heart rate high and 90 seconds seems to be around the perfect number without affecting your strength levels as well. So yeah, basically um, your heart rate is high the entire time. So it feels like you're doing a cardio workout, but you're actually weight training. So you're killing two birds with one stone. So that's sort of the four strategies I gave um, I gave her and, and we actually ran her through those strategies in the workout once we finished talking. Um, she didn't like me at the time. Um, I still have my job at the, at the magazine though, which is good. But yeah, they're sort of four strategies you can do right now to apply to your training. The current workout you're doing, and all that is is changing the exercises to big barbell exercises, changing your reps down to about six and adding more weight, 
reducing your rest period to about 90 seconds and just throwing a couple of faster exercises in your workout. Look, I've got a little bit more detail. If you found this on YouTube, I've got a little bit more detail about how to lose weight, how to lose fat without cardio in the article below in the link. If you're on my blog already, you've already on the article. Anyways, um, give them, have a look at those tips, give them a go, and get back to me. Um, but apart from that, this is Grant Lothas signing off and I will speak to you soon.